Hey YouTube, it's Fall Winner again. You may have already seen my other videos about my Samsung Vibrant rooted with various ROMs. Well, today I just installed Eugene 373's Franken Vibrant Hybrid ROM. It's an update 3. So it has a few minor updates to it. So let's go ahead and have a little run through with that. I'm not going to go into too much detail with this ROM as I already reviewed this ROM in the you know previous video. So I'm just going to go over the basic changes of it. Um, let's see. I do apologize for the camera quality. I don't have my normal camera with me right now. I'm using my Nexus One as a video recorder, and uh, hopefully it'll be good enough quality for viewers. So it's a pretty fast boot up. That was probably a few seconds. Um, not too. It doesn't take too long, anyways. It's a standard uh, Android 2.1 lock screen. Slide to unlock. It's your standard TW launcher. And I had a commenter comment on my channel um, about the Facebook integration. Uh, let me just say it integrates perfectly fine. I went ahead and imported a few contacts. I didn't want to import the whole thing. Um, but here you go. Here's all the Facebook updates. All there, perfectly integrated, if you are interested in that. So, thank you for the question. Um, I forgot what your name was. I do apologize. But uh, that's one of the main features that were fixed, that was fixed um, with the Update 3, as well as the call dropping. Whenever you make a call, sometimes when you make a call and then you need to adjust the volume and you press the call, the volume button, um, it would drop the call for some reason. I thought it was just my cheek pressing the end call button or something. But it turned out to be a bug and Eugene has fixed that problem. Um, call quality is great. Um, if you want to test out the br browser here, uh, I'm connected to a pretty weak Wi-Fi signal so I might not even connect. Um, let's see. Um, there's a little bit better battery life in this because he tweaked it up pretty well. Um, you might notice an increased battery life of about an hour or so. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty slow because I am on a pretty weak Wi-Fi signal, so I don't want to use 3G. Here's your standard swipe right here. Works pretty well. It's an updated version of swipe, so um, it'll respond better, stuff like that. Um, let's go to messaging. Messaging is still standard. You just uh, type in someone's name or something. I didn't import anything, so uh, no names pop up right there. Um, and you still have your swipe there. Or you can change, let's see, your input method to the HTC uh, keyboard. It's the single type keyboard, but I think it's a pretty good keyboard if you don't like swipe. So let's see, what else is there? Um, the GPS is fixed. Uh, I didn't install any applications here, so I didn't, can't really verify that. But uh, I tried it on my other Vibrant. It worked pretty, pretty fine with the Update 1, so I imagine it would be better with the Update 3. So <clears throat> let's see, what else is there? He says there is Flash working in the web browser. Um, I am not 100% what, sure what he means by that, but let's try going to mini clips. Oops. It's like a little flash playing game, I guess. Uh, see how it. I guess it doesn't run. Oh well, I don't really understand what he meant by. Flash player works, so um, I'll have to ask him later in later. Um, that's pretty much it for this build. Um, like I said again, there goes your Facebook integration right there. Um, so pretty cool nifty feature. I never really used that feature, but now I might use it again. Um, Let's see. I think there's live wallpapers from the Nexus One right there. Uh, pretty cool thing. 
But anyways, that's pretty much it. So uh, this is Paul Winter again. Please subscribe. Press the button up here, uh, wherever it is. So please subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest updates about the Samsung Fiber and the Nexus One, and I'll try to do any other Android devices that I can get my hands on.